Yo guys, what's up? Sleepyo here. Today I wanted to show you my headshot assault rifle build. So that is the build I use for most parts in the raid, uh, in my raid videos, uh, basically for the first, second and third part, and also for every other open world activity besides the raid. The crit build I made is pretty good, but uh, it's, it's also pretty... The crit build I made is pretty good, and I still believe it's one of the best builds in the game, or I know it is one of the best builds in the game. And for console, it's probably still better than a headshot build, for obvious reasons. But uh, on PC, uh, if you can hit consistent headshots, then I think this build is definitely better, and I prefer it as well. I was just waiting to get the Eagle Bear so I can finally make the build, because the Eagle Bear is not necessary for the build or needed, but uh, it's such a good gun that it's really, and it's so accurate as well, it's, it's really nice to have with a headshot build. You can really feel a difference between the Eagle Bear and the P416, uh, that's for sure. So as always, let's start with the specialization I choose. So there is a new specialization, the Gunner, and uh, yeah, probably 99% of the player base would play that. And um, it's not a bad choice, but there's a few things that I don't like about that. First of all, and um, probably most obvious for the build I'm playing as well, uh, it's the talent, uh, Incessant. Uh, so you get 5% armor on kill. And uh, yeah, I'm playing a Berserk build, so I don't want armor, I want health. I only want to be on my health, I don't want armor. That's why I also didn't play clutch on my crit build, because I don't want to regenerate back my armor and lose damage. Especially not in the raid. In the raid I want all the damage I can get. For open world activities, it doesn't matter too much, but for the raid you definitely want as much damage as possible. At least if you can survive with the amount of health that you have. I can, if you can't then, you know, probably berserk builds are not the right builds for you. But uh, that's the main reason I don't like Gunner, because 5% armor on kill, you can't really change it. If you want to have the better reloads and that insane armor kit, you need to spec at least one point into that, and yeah, then that's 5% armor on kill. And that's not very good. But there's a few reasons why this uh, specialization is pretty good. So the specialization ammo acquisition is pretty nice also for your teammates. Killing multiple enemies without releasing the trigger adds one to the group member's ammo bar, so that's pretty nice because with a 60 round assault rifle like the Eagle Bear, or even 50 rounds like the P416, you obviously shoot a lot without releasing the trigger. At least I do that. And you also have the talent uh, Barrage, that increases your rate of fire after a kill for 5 seconds and only 5%, but still it's a nice increase to your DPS. And also the talent emplacement, 20% weapon handling while not moving, needs to be motionless for one second. Um, when I shoot, at least in PvE, I most of the time just stand still as well, because it doesn't matter if you move or stand still against NPCs, they hit you anyways, or don't hit you. So uh, the talent is pretty nice, at least for my playstyle. Um, but yeah, the biggest problem is definitely that um, the talent that gives you armor back on kill. That's pretty bad. That's why I choose to go for a uh, sharpshooter, still. Um, sharpshooter got a, I would say, a pretty big nerf. So first of all, the headshot damage is only for marksman rifles and rifles, so you don't get 25% headshot damage anymore. And for a headshot build, that's pretty pretty sad. Um, I'm a little bit under 100% headshot damage right now, so unlucky. But um, it's, it's uh, still a pretty good specialization. You still get the 30% increased ability, which is alright, but not needed, at least not for me. And the sharpshooter also lost the reload speed, the 25% reload speed, or 30%, I don't remember. You definitely had a reload speed bonus that you don't have anymore, and that's also a downside. But uh, now to the part I like about sharpshooter, and that is the sniper. Because that um, 50 cal got a big buff in damage. The damage got uh, up by quite a bit. And it's pretty, pretty good now. I really like it. It's way better than before. And if you are able to use it, if you are able to hit with it, then it's definitely really good. And also the signature um, ammo acquisition is really, really good. Because you progress for the specialization ammo with uh, just headshotting enemies or headshot killing enemies. And um, I mean, with a headshot build, you're obviously aiming for the head. And I personally get a lot of headshot kills. Doesn't matter with what build I play, but with that build especially, since it is a headshot build. Um, I try a little bit harder even to aim for the head, I guess. So it's pretty easy to get your specialization ammo up with the sharpshooter, especially if more than one player uses it. You can also play the survivalist, um, if especially for the raid, if you if you uh, are the guy that shoots the vents. Uh, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not the guy, so I'm not playing it, because that's literally the only reason to play survivalist, just because of the specialization gun. 
All right, there was a lot of talk about uh, specialization. Um, so let's get into the actual build now. To my guns first. So as I said, I'm using the Eagle Bear as main gun. Uh, I will not go into that too much because I know most people can't even get it. So I will not even read out the talents. I will just scroll down. You can read it for yourself, you know. Uh, if you want to know more about it, there's a lot of reviews about the gun on YouTube. I will not make one either because I literally got it three weeks into the raid. So there's no point. But yeah, that's um, definitely the best gun in the game. Best assault rifle, best gun overall, in my opinion. Uh, if you have it, you have to use it. And yeah, there's not much more to say about it. The mods you get here, you know, 30 round mag, disability, crit chance, crit damage. It's just really, really good. It's the best gun in the game for sure. But yeah, that's enough with the Eagle Bear, you know. Um, probably You probably don't have it, so, you know, just whatever. Uh, if you don't have the Eagle Bear, then I would definitely play the P416. That's the next best assault rifle. And on that one, I would play the Ranger talent, because you can't have strength, and it's not a crit build either. So Ranger is the next best talent uh, for assault rifles, I would say. It's not too good, but definitely better than measured. Um, a second talent, uh, obviously Allegro, the best uh, secondary talent. Um, probably extra works as well, but Allegro is definitely um, better damage-wise. I mean, it's a damage increase, while extra is just some more ammo, which could be more DPS, but, you know, overall Allegro is better. As a mods on that gun, I have damage relief scopes, either the 5% or the 8%. I have the 5% scope right now because I swapped to the Nemesis here and there. Um, and yeah, that's that's why I have the 5%. Then as mech, I have the sturdy mech with 20 rounds. You get that from um, daily projects um, or the weekly projects with, with blueprints. So that's pure RNG if you get it or not. Uh, as underbarrel, I have a accuracy grip. And as muzzle, I have damage relief, another 5%. Okay, to my gear now. So I will try to make it quick, but uh, I will also talk about the improvements I could personally make with that build. So right now I have a Wyvern mask, uh, just high damage release, health and hard hitting. It's the three things you want on the mask. You really want to look for uh, high damage release and hard hitting, because that's a big chunk of your damage release on the build. So that's important. The mask you want would be a Murakami mask with um, high damage release and health. Sadly, mine doesn't have high damage release, so I'm not playing it. The chest, um, quite obvious, is a Fenris chest for the assault rifle damage and Fenris chest because you have two talents. So for the talents, I would go Berserk and Hard Hitting. You could also go Berserk and Vital. Um, sadly, it's a wrong chest because that one has a defensive mod slot. You want the chest with a offensive mod. Uh, wait, which one is it? Yeah, this one. Um, that one has an offensive mod. So that name, I will not pronounce it. I have this one without an um, offensive mod, that's kind of unlucky. But at least attributes are pretty good. So you want headshot damage and then weapon damage, and preferably health as third stat. I have crit chance now, no health. If I would have health here, my health would obviously go up by a little bit, but 185 is enough for me at least. But I know that you can have way more, because I have a PvP version for that build, and on that PvP version I have over 300k health. As holster, you want a Araldi holster, there's no way around that. Uh, there's only three uh, Raldi pieces, the holster backpack and the, the gloves. So you want a Raldi on the holster and the backpack, because on the gloves you want a different item. I will come to that in a second. On the holster, you definitely want health as attribute. That's, that's very important. You don't want crit chance or crit damage. Health. Health is very important. 40k health to 185, that's a pretty big chunk of my health. So that's important. Just keep that in mind. Um, as talents you want precise, it's a headshot build, so precise. If you play on console, then don't even consider making that build, or play everything into weapon damage, but that's not really the purpose of the build. So, yeah, precise. As mod, I have an offensive mod here with weapon damage, AR damage, and damage to armor. My backpack is also a rally, and that one could be improved. Uh, right now, I only have 6.5% weapon damage here. I could have 9 or 10. But uh, I choose to reroll health here because it had armor and the max um, weapon damage on the backpack I could roll on here was 9%. So that's just a little improvement compared to 38k health. There's no question for me really. Also my backpack doesn't have vital so it has another hard hitting. And I would actually prefer to have a vital here on the backpack, something like that. But as you can see with that backpack my health would actually be lower than that one. 
So yeah, that's why it just doesn't make sense to play the vital one if my health would just go down and just throw, I don't know, 2.5 weapon damage, right? That backpack or that overall setup I have right now is pretty much perfect for the raid. But for open world or any other activity, just missions and shit, I would go for vital here instead of hard hitting because you don't need that much damage to elites for any other activity besides the raid. My gloves are Murakami right now. They're not too good either. They have super high armor. So the health roll is low and also 10% was the cap uh, on the assault rifle damage. And they also have hard hitting. I would rather want them with um, precise. But it's still the wrong pair of gloves. The right gloves you want, let me quickly show them in my stash. I don't have them for AR, but it's it's those gloves. The Elp Summit climbing gloves. Because those can roll with AR damage and then they always roll destructive, I think. They never roll precise or anything else. At least I never saw them with anything else. That's why it's so hard to get a god roll of that. And those have an offensive mod slot. And I think that's the only pair of gloves with an offensive mod slot. So that's basically 6% more damage right here on that mod slot. And that's why you basically want those gloves. As I said, I don't have them with AR damage, so I can't play those. And the next best gloves I had were Murakami. Those also give me some health. So it's not too bad. But still hard hitting. Uh, I don't really want more damage needs. I think I'm uh, on 100 damage releads on that build. And that's a bit too much. As I said, for the raid, it's perfect. But for any other activity, not really. And lastly, my knee pads. Um, I think Gilagard is still the best choice here. Because uh, Gilagard have two defensive mod slots. And that's basically 20k health if you have perfect mods. So 20k health just from those mods. And then 20k health as attribute. So the knee pads alone would give you 40k health in best case scenario. And on those, you definitely want hard hitting. And uh, that's all my pieces. Uh, quickly to my skills. So, doesn't matter what I run, open world or raid, I always play the Reviver Hive and the Defender Drone. Uh, Defender Drone for PvE is pretty damn good. Wouldn't go for anything else. Just pop it when your armor is depleted and you're safe for the next 5 to 10 seconds. Pretty good skill. And lastly, to my stats, um, we'll show them with the Eagle Bear first and then with the P4. So with the Eagle Bear, I have a little bit of crit chance and crit damage, but that's not the focus. Then I have 94% uh, headshot damage, which is alright, but if I had precise on the gloves, it would be over 100. So that's what I'm looking for right now, precise gloves, and then the precise holster. Then I have 21.5% weapon damage and 41 AR damage. So as you can see, my uh, overall weapon damage is pretty good. And uh, now to the big stats, <laughs> my damage release is 97%, so that's really really high for a headshot build then i also have some damage to armor and damage to health or health damage and uh, yeah my p416 has even more damage release because i have those two damage release mods and yeah over 100 on a headshot build is, is a little bit overkill i would say and yeah that's that's my headshot ar build um as i said if you play on console that's probably not the right build for you but uh then i would just play the crit build because that's pretty much good for everything just the headshot build is better if you can hit headshots. And if the enemies have a head, obviously. Because, well, the last raid boss, uh, Razorback, doesn't have a head. So that build is not really good for the last part of the raid. That's why I made a crit build, basically. Just for the last boss. That build is for everything else. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, um, drop a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. And yeah, see you in my next video. Bye.